Hey there friends, today we got a very different video for you, but before that I'd like to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Jack, I'm the behind the scenes editor for Jean-Pierre, and I gotta tell you, we've grown so much together and we learned so many things from you guys. So as a little thank you, I made a best of 2020 video, which Jean-Pierre actually knows nothing about. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, how are you? Boy, I hate when my doctor does that. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of sweet onion out there, but they're not very sweet. These guys right there, you can actually take it and bite it like an apple if, if you like onion. I love onion. This is my thing, okay? I, I, I mean, I could live on onion. On onion. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, oh, oh. I know the uh, recipe police on YouTube is going to say, that's not a typical jambo life. Don't worry about it, whatever we call it. It's delicious, okay? We're going we're gonna to use the butter, don't worry. See, look at that. Yeah, you got our butter. Butter, oh baby. No margarine, huh? You know, margarine is a molecule away from acrylic. You like plastic? Yeah, you eat your margarine. Yeah, yeah, eat your margarine. I'll eat my butter. Thank you very much. This, friends, is a frittata. Look how beautiful that is. Mmm. Woo! It's a little acid, but I like it that way. Check this guy. <laughs> now that's an onion. I mean, holy my. <laughs> Whenever you see somebody putting the garlic and all the vegetables at the same time with the onion, I highly recommend you go to the Playboy channel. <laughs> Maybe you learn something. So far, I haven't done anything complicated, right? Oh yeah, baby. That lemon sauce is amazing. Really, 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 really beautiful. Oh! Oh, mamma mia. This is amazing. I, I'm telling you, you make this, you're not gonna believe it. The, the capers is a, um, is a flower bud of the caper bush, which means if allowed to grow, it becomes a nice old white flower. You know, I always say, what were they smoking when they come up with the idea of capers? You could smoke it at this point. Hey, before it becomes a flower, Let's take it, let's put it in the brine so we can eat it three months from now. They have to be smoking something strange to come up with that idea, right? But it's fabulous, right? Pound of saffron is like two or three thousand dollars and you can't even smoke the stuff. <laughs> hey, mamma mia, look at it. Blue, 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 blue. This you have to measure carefully, yeah? <laughs> measure carefully, yeah? It's not rocket science, it's cooking, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna bring up the heat. It looks like it's slowed down all of a sudden. Blah, 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 blah. Holy mackerel. I'm half French, half Italian, and 100% American. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. I promise you, I'm not exaggerating it. We got recipe police. <laughs> I love it. I got this thing where I do a recipe on uh, where I'm. I'm peeling a tomato, tomato con cassé, right? I'm showing people how to make a tomato con cassé. I'm putting it in the water and I said, it should take about 10, 12 seconds. You know how many of them said, oh, it took 23 seconds. It took 20 seconds. I'm glad they got a better clock than me. <laughs> now they got better things to do than, they, oh my goodness, he said 12 seconds, it's 23 seconds. What's wrong with him? And then, and then look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at this. Do you think that's big enough? This is uh, uh, raisins marinated in rum. You don't have to marinate them in rum, you know. You can marinate them in, um, in, in, in apple juice if you can't have alcohol. Poor, poor you. Look at that water. You want to remove all that water. You're going to say, well, that water looks very nice. It does look very nice, doesn't it? Look, look, this beautiful garnet color. It's gorgeous. You know what it tastes like? Nothing. I'm telling you, this water tastes like nothing. Matter of fact, if I were to give you something to eat, and I close your eyes and say, what are you drinking? You're gonna say, I'm drinking water. That's what you're drinking, water. It just happened to have color on it. But I tell you what, it tastes like nothing. I wanna replace a water that tastes like nothing with booze. You can use Chambon, you can use Grand Marinier, you could use Kirsch, you could use so much booze. That tastes better than water. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did it one day on the Today Show in like four minutes, so, I know you can do it. I'm gonna take my time today because today show you don't have time to explain anything. You just brrr, 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 do it. Oh, here we go. God bless America. Check it out. 
is uh, we're going to put a little bit of butter on the pan. Just a little bit of butter. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit more. I'll uh, publish the exact recipe. There's never enough butter. <laughs> butter is good. You know, Time Magazine had an article, uh, eat butter. I'll show you, show you the article. It's very old. No, it's not at all, really. <laughs> Look, it was, um, it was uh, 2014. Not that long ago. Time life. Eat butter. Check this out. <laughs> Man, I got all my uh, vegetables on steroid. <laughs> Look at this thing. Holy mackerel. That's a leak. And if you're cooking for a vegan, God bless you. <laughs> for your patience and your kindness and your consideration. God's very nice. It's tough to cook for vegans, you know. And this, my friends, let me tell you, this is absolutely wonderful. No, no, I'm not gonna flambe. What am I talking about? I don't wanna flambe because I got a mirror here. If I flambe it, I'm gonna crack my mirror. You flambe it at home. <laughs> or maybe I can do it away. Okay, I'll do it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do it right there. We'll take the, the lighter, we're ready. <laughs> I, I'm gonna back up a little bit and then I'm gonna do it, okay? You watch. All right, the pan is hot. Take a little bit of cognac. Oh yeah, baby. You better keep that away from the flame, otherwise, you know what you're gonna have? There you go, that's what you're gonna have. <laughs> Holy mackerel, I'm glad I got it out of the, uh, I'm glad I got it out of the, uh, okay, enough already. Done, finished, thank you. Goodbye. Whoa, that is some heat, let me tell you. That's a dangerous kitchen around here, let me tell you. All right, enough already, you know. You're lucky you're home. Because that's sometimes it's dangerous. We need to submerge. You see, that's a new culinary term I'm teaching you today, friends. Submerge. Do you think the um, recipe police is going to punish you? So I like it. I like it when it's thick. Thicker it is and better it is. If you cannot do this dessert, you have an issue, okay? I bring in the big guns. I bring in the immersion blender. I'll show you. You watch. I want it to be smooth as silk. So look, folks, to save some time, because <laughs> I was going to take too long with this thing right there, I brought my friend. <laughs> I know you don't have one of those at home, but maybe you won't, be, won't make as big of a pot as I am making. This is just to go, to go a little faster, okay? Look. Holy mackerel. You see, look at it. <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about right there, friends. Look at this. Yeah, I'm saying, don't put too much powdered sugar. And here I am putting like a quarter pound of powdered sugar. Every mistake you can make in the kitchen, I made them, okay? <laughs> and some, okay? And sometimes more than one time. <laughs> sometimes I wonder. It all depends uh, what is it I have in my coffee. <laughs> oh, mamma mia, I forgot to put the salt and I forgot to put the, uh, the sriracha. I have to stop for a second because I need to get some butter and cream. It's so simple to do, a child could do it. I'm not kidding, it's true, very simple. Oh man, this is food, holy mug. It's a good thing I'm not drinking. Remember, at the end of the day, friends, you're only as good as the ingredient you're using. Use good ingredient, you're gonna make good food. Use crappy ingredient, good luck making good food. <laughs> Friends, we have another wonderful recipe for you today. It's a Vidalio onion stuffed with a sausage, bolognese, a goat cheese mornay on top, and a roasted bell pepper coulis. And here's what I recommend you do. You taste it, you see if you like it. Is it enough sugar for you? It's too much sugar? Oh, well, you can't take it out. So next time you put a little bit less sugar. So. We got the white chocolate that is melting in here, and we got the four eggs, and I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. And I mean little, okay? I don't want it to be overwhelming. So I put just a little bit of this right here, and let me tell you what I like to do when I do it. I like to mix it up with the egg. I do the same when I do the cocoa powder. First, you see, look, mix it up really good. It's a good trick. When, when you're doing um, uh, 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 spices, you want it to really, 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 really be mixed well first, you see? Don't put too much, eh? Right? Just like this. And then we're gonna put a little bit of cognac. Now, <laughs> you don't have to put cognac and rum in there. It'll be perfectly good without it. Oh. Uh, but I think it'll be perfect, <laughs> perfectly better if you put it in there, okay? Don't put too much. For the kids, though. My mom used to put a lot of booze on her. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You give them that dessert, they go to sleep really quick. <laughs> 
So, shh, don't say that. Don't, don't tell anybody. I can see. I can hear the um, the uh, YouTube recipe police already. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna get some comment on that one. Don't give it the food. Don't give it the booze to the kids. I understand. Look, look. I got raisins that have been marinated in Captain Morgan spice rum. Now, those you give those to the kids in the morning with a cereal. Oh, they'll have a great day at school. Don't say it. Anybody, please. Okay, enough already. <laughs> Boom. And that's all you did. And right there, friends. This chocolate croissant pudding is a must. It's made by the company called Crap. Uh, oh, no, no, Kraft. <laughs> See, anybody can do this. Matter of fact, you know, cooking, I keep telling everybody all the time, it's the easiest hobby in the world to learn. I mean, what's complicated about what I'm doing here? Anybody can do this, right? So you put it in, don't touch it. Don't do nothing. Don't touch it. Everybody wants to play with it. Don't go anywhere. Cooking is like building a building. A, a first story, you don't put a second story until the first one is ready, right? And you don't put the third one until the second one is ready, right? Okay, same deal. Don't worry about it, nobody's gonna complain. They're gonna, if they complain because you're using um, uh, onion instead of shallot, just don't invite them for dinner again, that's all. <laughs> this is what I call a very sexy dessert. <laughs> I love my life. When somebody uses dry mushroom, you know, they use this beautiful dry mushroom. What's the first thing they do before they use the dry mushroom? Then put them back in water. What is wrong with you people? Okay, if you have a dry mushroom, you don't want to rehydrate it in water. Water tastes like nothing. Put it in wine, put it in broth. Put it in stock, put it in something else than water. How great is that if you picked wine, uh, and let's say you picked a mushroom, and inside the mushroom is Madeira wine. Oh, you can't buy those. <laughs> but if you buy a dry mushroom, and you rehydrate them in Madeira, you got a Madeira mushroom. <laughs> well, that'll be something I should do. What do you think of that idea? Don't be afraid now, butter is a friend. Check that out. <laughs> this is what I call a meatloaf, friends. Check this out. Okay, remember my videos, friends. They're not like the kind of videos where uh, it's three minutes to show you how to do a recipe. You want those, you go to TikTok, talk, whatever, the, whatever they call that thing. TikTok, or, or you go to Instagram. Instagram, very fast. You see them, some videos in there? They don't even talk. <laughs> go to TikTok. TikTok, talk. Whatever they call it. That's a 27 pound bird I got for you guys. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Remember, this is what cooking is about, is having fun. I had a ball doing it. You can do it, even if it's a little challenging for your first, first turkey. I promise you the second one will get better. Watch the video again. It's not that difficult, I promise you. If I can do it, I know you can do it too. Enjoy it and have a great Thanksgiving. I see it all the time. People that are not enjoying cooking. They, they're chopping and dicing and cooking and chopping. And you can't do it. Don't be cooking with a wine you're not willing to drink. You can put a little grandma in here and there. <laughs> you know, look, you, remember, you just want to make them happy, not drunk, okay? Put it on a veal chop, put it on a pork chop. Put it on, um, like I said, in the memory oil. Rub it on your body, do whatever you want. This is amazing. Bourbon flavored whiskey. Measure carefully, okay? Don't be putting too much in there, remember now. Share with one there, delicious. Your friends are gonna say, ooh, we like your soup. Uh -huh, uh -huh, mm -hmm. Don't tell them what's in it. And, uh, and the kids, they're gonna sleep early. <laughs> yeah, give an extra serving to the kids. Eight o'clock, can we go to bed? Oh, that's what my mom used to do. Oh yeah. And you know, I've been a chef for 54 years. I love it when somebody says to me, oh, that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> and guess what? You do it the way you want to do it. I do it the way I want to do it. After 54 years, I know my way around the kitchen. Whew. Well, I did it with that, with that screwing up. I'm not that good with that kind of stuff. And don't forget, ring our bell. <laughs> ring my bell. There's a song out there, isn't it? Ring my bell. Then you get a notification every Thursday when I put out a new video. Gives us a thumbs up if you like the recipe and please subscribe. We need subscribers. Thanks for watching the video. I know you're gonna love it.